All right. Hi, everyone. Zero one of one here. Uh, we are playing Minecraft. So I thought that I would give this uh, Let's Play Minecraft thing another try. Um, the last YouTube world that I had, um, I kind of got rid of it because I ended up cheating in it and it kind of like destroyed everything because I was doing everything in creative and then it kind of just wasn't really, I don't know, fun anymore, I guess. So I have only three worlds right now. Um, this is my own little single player world that I'm testing my uh, resolve to not cheat. But for this, we are going to try a new world. Now, for this one, we're going to call it YouTube World Survival. Uh, no bonus chest, that's fine. No cheats. Now, this doesn't really mean anything because there is a way to, to turn on cheats again, but for now, we'll just uh, give this a try and see what happens. Do, 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 do. And then I'm really terrible at editing, but I'm going to do my best and hopefully we can both. Well, all of us can learn something. Do, do, do. It's thinking. All right. So we are currently on the edge. Are we on an island? We have some sugar cane, that's good. Waiting for the world to kind of load. This looks kind of like a plains biome, I guess. Um, sunflower plains biome. Interesting. All right, so our spawn block. Might as well put this in there. Um, we are 220, 71, and negative 314. OK. So um, this is also a different account. Um, I have two accounts. So this one is actually built after the book that I wrote. So this is a character in the book. Um, this is Professor Razumjeet. It's kind of hard to see in here, but he's actually a panther man, kind of, sort of. Um, so he is the son of a magical human being who enjoyed spending more time as a large cat than as a human. And then, oh, hey, check it out. We have a temple over there. All right, and uh, she met a panther god in, I think, South America. And, you know, they kind of got together, and uh, Professor Rosamji was born. And then in the book, he teaches um, at Hazelwood Academy, which is also the name of the book. So it looks like we've got, what is that over there? Look like cactus? We have desert islands, I guess. All right, and we have desert over here. So it looks like our options are kind of limited. What is that over there? Oh, we have sheep, good. All right, so we are going to change this to hard and we're gonna lock it in place. All right, so we are officially locked. Now, in order to change a single player world that you don't have on uh, cheats is to simply open it to LAN, and then there's an option there to, you know, allow cheats. So that is how we do that. Now, I might get to the point in this world, if I can keep it up, that I will want to build some command block contraptions. Um, so something like a, a blacksmith who can disassemble things like golden swords or whatever, um, provided that they're, you know, in perfect uh, condition and all that other fun stuff. So, there isn't really much for trees over here. All right, so first things first is we need a home. All right. And then another thing that I wanted to try doing is to sort of keep an aesthetic with um, all the buildings that I make here. So I'm not just gonna make like these garish, you know, old crappy looking buildings. I wanna at least try to have them, you know, look somewhat good. Um, so 
that is also going to be along with all of the, you know, houses, monster farms, all of this stuff. I want everything to at least make an attempt to look good. All right. So what we need first, I think, is a way to survive. So for that, we're going to need a bed. We'll plant a couple of trees, and we'll come back. Hopefully there'll be some more saplings. All right. So first, now I don't know if you can get wool by killing sheep, but how long do you think it would take me to kill a sheep by punching it? Probably a long time, right? All right. So we are going to make ourselves some tools. So first thing that we're going to need is a pickaxe. Keep those there. Um, shovel, just because. Um, probably an axe to cut down stuff. And then I'm gonna wait to make a sword until I actually get some um, some stone. So we're gonna go over here where I saw some exposed. And we have entered the Stone Age. Lovely. Alright. We have another tree down here. There's really not much going on here. I mean, we have some sunflower plains here, but it's really, really small. Um, now it looks like we've got some sand down there, which will be useful for making glass. Not sure what's going on with that, but I'll take that too. Ooh, an apple. Nice. Uh, food is another thing I'm going to need. Um, let's see. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we have ourselves a sword. Um, we'll keep the apple over here as food. And we're going to go and see about getting ourselves some sheep. I also have to count to see how many sheep there are because I don't want to kill so many that I can't breed more. So... Alright, so we have one wool. White wool. Um, do, 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 do. And then we have two wool. Alright, so I want to leave those two sheep there so I can breed them and make more. So now I need to find another sheep, if I can. Oh hey, now that I'm seeing some cactus, something interesting that I found out is they updated the um, mob mechanics. So that way they actually walk around cactuses instead of actually walking into them, which was, you know, really useful for um, killing them and stuff. All right, so now we have this. And I don't have any kind of... Actually, I don't even know if there's anything in here. You know, just some sandstone, colored sandstone and stuff. I could make this like my little house or something, but I don't know. So nothing really special in there. Oh, there's some sheep. Sweet. Alright. Come here, sheep. Come on. Thank you. All right, now we have enough for a bed, which is good. And it looks like we have a lot of sand, which is good, because I can make a lot of stuff with glass and sandstone and whatever else I want to make. I um, also want to kind of explore a little bit, just to kind of see what's in the area. And, uh, yeah. Probably also going to... I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. And I just lost that sapling. That's unfortunate. All right. And we have ourselves a bed. Perfect. Um, guess we can just kind of put this there. And uh, all right, so I'm going to go and explore a little bit, and I will be right back. All right, so um, there's the temple over there. Our bed is over there. And this is one side. And I'm starting to think that this entire thing is just going to be one big island, maybe. Looks like there might be mountains over there, so we shall see. But it's getting dark out, so I've got to hurry up and get back to bed. All right, so remember those mountains that I thought I saw? Well, I'm currently standing on them. So there's a temple over there, and then my little base bed area is right over there. Um, and it does look like this is all just kind of one big island. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. This just drops straight down. <laughs> I don't even want to mine anything up here. The whole thing might fall down. Um, it looks like we have some savanna over there um, and all over there as well and then over here looks like just more desert so I'm gonna head over there and uh, I'll start recording again when I get there all right all right so I'm back again I was just up there um, I just noticed this down here looks like there was another temple down there um, that is way over there somewhere we are just surrounded by desert um, looks like over there is all water, and then once we get over here, we're back into a savanna, so, and then I guess we can go and check this out real quick, and it looks like we have a well over there, so that's useful. For what, I'm not sure, but, I don't know, maybe I can figure something out to do with it later. Doo, 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 doo. And then where are we with the sun? It's about noon. All right. So there we are with the water and the well. So that's good. And I guess I can just use it as a landmark, maybe. All right. So we have a cave. I don't have any torches, though, so I'm not going to go in there. And then we do have this locked on hard, so uh, the more that I can avoid, you know, Possibly running into mobs, probably the better until I can get some armor and stuff. And this has got a valley, doesn't it? Of course it does. Hmm. Alright, well I would like to get up there just to kind of see what's around. I don't even know if I can. Hmm. And then before too long I have to head back, and it's going to take me a while to get there, so... We'll go to the top of this thing, have ourselves a little look, and then uh, afterwards we will head back to our encampment. I guess is what we can call it for now. And... Well, that's not going to help. Alright. Do, 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 do. All right, we have pigs and cows down there. It's a long distance to bring it back, though. Hmm. I may end up relocating. All right, what have we got up here? All right, up here we are very high. The clouds are quite close. Um, so yeah, we'll just uh, let this load a little bit. Looks like desert continues out this way. And then this may continue on that way, may not. But um, at this point, I think it's a good idea to start heading back. So I'm going to pause it, and then I will turn it back on when we get back to the camp. All right, and we made it back. So after kind of looking around a little bit, I think it might be a good idea. It's kind of like in something to do for the area. To maybe make like a uh, fortress type thing through here. 
kind of like a bastion on the sea and we can go out there use that for like a lighthouse or something um, with a little bit of redstone I can actually make lights that spin around in circles so um, all right hey we have a cow over here sweet Ooh, we have lots of cows perfect that is very much useful all right so it is getting dark so I think what we're gonna do next is uh well sleep first and then we'll start digging ourselves a mine because we're gonna need a lot of stuff that's in the ground and at this point in time we do not have access to it <laughs> so uh, all right I guess um, I'm gonna pause it here again I'm gonna try to keep these videos like around 15 20 minutes I don't want to try to make them too long um, yeah so uh, we'll pause it here and uh, I'll start digging a hole. Fun, right? All right, finally back. Took me a while. Um, I did manage to find a bunch of stuff. So we have a lot of cobblestone here. Suppose I could organize this a little bit. Um, I found a lot of iron, which is also good. So I've got 19 here. I have full iron armor. You can tell that I've taken a little damage already. I've even died a couple of times, which wasn't that fun. Hard is really hard, but hey, I'm locked in, so yeah. And we've got another 28 iron here. We've got plenty of uh, coal. You can see it's kind of dark outside. Hopefully it's getting lighter, maybe? But it's raining, so it means that the monsters aren't gonna die anyways. But, um, so I found my first little cave up in here. Kind of went spelunking a little bit, as you can see. I uh, found a bunch of iron in there. And then kept on going down. Then I found my next little cave over in here, which I have not completed uh, investigating. But there was a bunch of iron in here that I grabbed. And then as I kept on going, um, I found another one here. Now this has got like a lot of lava around it, so I'm kind of eh, hesitant to kind of go through here too much. But for the most part, I've gone through this upper part. Um, Pretty much lit everything up. Oh, I forgot to mine these. Um, yeah, I broke my pick, so I don't have anything, but as you can see, it's still dark through here. There's a creeper right there. Look at that creeper. Just creeping. Stop being a creeper. And there he goes. There's a hole down there. Damn creepers. So yeah, I actually fell down there the first time. I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. And I had like all of the stuff that I'd been mining. Um, but yeah, I didn't die, so that's that's kind of good. Um, so I can, can keep exploring there. I got some lapis there. And then I uh, kept on going, and eventually I hit bedrock. So I'm going to go down here. I haven't found any diamonds yet, so hopefully I'll be able to find some in the next video. But um, then I kind of started mining in through here, as you can kind of see. And then there's some redstone over there. But uh, yeah. So all in all, I think this was a pretty successful episode. Uh, one thing I am going to do is put some stairs in here because having to jump over and over and over and over and over and over is really annoying. So, all right, let's see what the weather is like up there. And then I kind of, you know, designed the floor a little bit, not too much, but you know, just to make it a little less bland. The walls and the ceiling, of course, are cobblestone, though. Alright, let's see what we can see out here. So I did some stuff up here, too. Don't see anyone. Doesn't mean there isn't anyone there. Eh, creeper. Come here, creeper. I'm gonna kill ya. Yeah, with a stone sword, it takes four hits to kill these things. Kind of dumb. But, uh, so I cleared off a lot of the grass up in here. I did have a lot of trees planted. As you can see, I planted a lot of um, uh, reeds, sugar canes, whatever the fuck those things are called. Anyways, so I planted a bunch of those. I've already harvested them a couple of times. Um, you can see them right here. So yeah, sugar cane. Got 30 of them in there, so good for making uh, papyrus some paper stuff and then I also uh, 
made myself a little farm here. Hopefully it'll help me with some of my hunger issues. As you can see right now, I'm quite hungry and my health is about halfway. So this not having food thing kind of sucks a lot. I don't even think that's going to be enough. But I don't know. We'll see what it does. Oh, two and a half, that's not bad. All right. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. Oh, and another one. Nice. All right. So hopefully with this, I mean, I might make another one. Um, but I'm hoping this will kind of solve my hunger issues for the time being at least. And I'll just kind of have to live off of bread. And yeah. So I think in the next episode, um, I have a lot of wood and stuff here. So I think I might start making the first part um, of my little building in here. Um, basically, I think it's just going to look kind of like a watchtower. So it'll be kind of up high. Um, have room up there for, you know, the bed, some storage. And then uh, I may or may not kind of uh, dig down through here. And you can see I kind of made like a little path uh, going in here. I may like make like another room over in here that goes straight up that I go into from this little watch out tower thing. But yeah, so uh, I think we're still under 20 minutes or right at 20 minutes. So I think that should be good enough for this episode. And I will see you on the next episode. All right, see ya.